In this video, we are going to explore integration of DIY BMS and the Home Assistant software. I've only recently started using Home Assistant, and for those that don't know about it, it is free and open source software for home automation designed to be a central control system for smart home devices. So it makes sense to integrate a home battery using DIY BMS with the Home Assistant system. Just for this video, I've installed a fresh copy of Home Assistant, so on screen now are the steps I went through to boot up the new installation. This isn't going to be a how to install Home Assistant video though. There are plenty of instructions on the internet on how to achieve that. Home Assistant is very flexible in its ability to integrate with external devices. Up to now, integration with DIY BMS used either the Influx Database API or MQTT. MQTT is the most flexible, but you also need a piece of software called a broker to allow everything to communicate, which is another thing to run and maintain on your home network. So rather than use MQTT, I've decided to expose a RESTful API which Home Assistant can pull data from. Once the system is up and running, we need to install an add-on called File Editor. If you have been using Home Assistant for some time, I expect this is already installed. Home Assistant can be configured in several ways. For DIY BMS, I'm using the text configuration files which use YAML notation. There are two files I'm going to edit. The first holds the unique password or secret used to communicate with DIY BMS. Using the file editor, open the secrets file. Now if you jump over to the DIY BMS webpage, we can copy and paste the Home Assistant secret from the integration page. We will also take a note of the API URL as we will need that later. Now we can enter DIY BMS API token and paste in our secret which we copied from DIY BMS. The secret key is case sensitive, so be careful when copying. The file should look similar to what's on screen now, but your secret key will be different. Save the changes to that file and open up the configuration YAML file. This time, we are going to look at the template I've created on GitHub for this integration. All we are going to do is to copy and paste the template back into Home Assistant. We will modify the URL to match the one found in DIY BMS integration page. This template describes the data received from the BMS and how it should be displayed in Home Assistant. Now we use the Developer Tools feature to check the configuration and reload it. Once the reload is complete, the BMS data should be pulled into Home Assistant and visible on the overview page. You can create your own energy dashboards in Home Assistant using the Settings and Dashboard Configuration page. The system default dashboard is copied to every new one, so we can unselect that and start with an empty one instead. Now it's just a case of adding cards of information to the dashboard showing the values from DIY BMS. In this example, I've used a gauge display to show the state of charge. The second card uses a graph to show the DC battery voltage. This is taken from the internal current monitoring shunt, which isn't installed in this particular BMS, which is why the value is reporting zero. The BMS software outputs all of these values to Home Assistant. Individual cell voltages are not transmitted as those are not normally useful for reporting or automation tasks in Home Assistant. I hope you enjoyed this video and saw just how easy it is to set up the integration. Please leave me a comment and subscribe for future DIY BMS updates.